Cuomo has been trying to rid New York of its reputation as a high tax state and has put limits on tax increases by local governments, reducing their ability to meet their often rising obligations. The smoothing policy is intended to make it easier for them to raise money without raising taxes. And at stake is whether the $176 billion state pension fund will be able to fully meet its obligations, or instead be used as a piggy bank for municipalities who haven't budgeted or raised money well enough to meet their present obligations. Though New York's pension system is 87% funded, one of the best in the country, the smoothing program may undermine its future health, critics said. And New York has traditionally been a good state as far as funding policy goes but they have in recent years shown that they are willing to take steps backwards, said Josh Mitchie, a pension expert at the Laura and John Arnold Foundation, a policy group that's expressed concern about the fiscal dangers presented by pension plans for public employees. Giving deferrals in the short run just means you have to come up with more money in the long run. And under the policy introduced in 2010 and called smoothing, local and state authorities that need money are permitted to either defer making pension payments for as long as 12 years or borrow directly from the pension fund. So far about $3.30 billion in pension payments has been deferred, including $1.40 billion in 2013. And the state charges local authorities interest of about 3.7% on the payments they defer. Because the fund's assumed rate of return is 7.5%, the difference between what it expects to earn and the money it's actually earning from the deferred payments is 3.8 percentage points. And at that rate the fund stands to have about $735 million less in its coffers in 2024 based on the $3.30 billion that's already been deferred, an amount that will rise in coming years as the program goes on. And the $735 million figure is an estimate that was calculated with the aid of Muraja, who runs the actuarial science program at Columbia University's School of Continuing Education in New York. And fund integrity and the low rate is more about giving municipalities the ability to borrow cheaply than ensuring the integrity of the pension fund, McGee said. It also means the fund is taking on greater risk because it's allowing low or unrated municipalities to defer their pension payments, he said. And the state says it's justified in charging 3.7% interest because it considers the outstanding balances as a part of its fixed income portfolio, which has a lower expected rate of return than the fund's equity portfolio. And however, the fund's annual report accounts for the deferred payments and the interest on them as a receivable and doesn't include the money in the fixed income part of its portfolio. That matters because of the fund's asset allocation mix which as of March 31 devoted 54.5% to equities and 27.2% to fixed income securities, with the rest divided between real estate, private equity and other investments. And if the deferred payments were included with fixed income, the fund would have to adjust its equities holdings higher so as to maintain its targeted allocation mix. And Elizabeth Wiley an actuary at consulting firm Sharon in McLean, Virginia, said the deferred balances won't hinder the fund's performance if they are actually considering the deferred balances when they set the asset allocations. And state controller Thomas Pedanapoli's office, which administers the pension plan, counters that not including the deferred balance in the overall asset allocation isn't a drag on the fund. And the program is fiscally sound transparent and adequately funds the retirement system, a spokeswoman for DiNapoli said. It provides an option for all state and local employers to manage the budgetary impact of rising contribution rates in the aftermath of the global financial crisis. And DiNapoli's office didn't comment on the $735 million estimated shortfall. And the fund's blended fixed income portfolio, divided between core fixed income and treasury inflation protected securities, fell about 1.5% last year as chips slipped 6.5%. Its blended equities gained about 20.3%, led by its U.S. stock holdings. The Standard & Poor's 500 index rose 30% in 2013. 
and cheaper money and some local authorities that use the smoothing program said they could get money cheaper if the state allowed them to sell pension bonds. And we are forced to borrow at a higher rate than we would if we could go to the market, said Westchester County Executive Rob Ostorino, who is the Republican nominee for state governor in this year's election. We were borrowing at twice the market rate from the pension system which is more wasted money. And Westchester County estimates it will defer $104 million in total and would save $10 million over 13 years if it could issue bonds instead of using the state's plan, even though bonds covering pension costs are usually taxable. And still, being able to defer more than $40 million in pension contributions last year allowed the county to avoid laying off 420 employees or raising property taxes by 6%. Ostorino said. And, to have paid it in full we would either have had to have a very big tax increase, and we drew the line in the sand that we were not doing that, or massive layoffs and program cuts, which were not palatable especially to the legislature, or reluctantly go into this, which we did, he said. And, reporting by Edward Crudy. Editing by Dan Burns and John